Hey everybody. So, here at Overdrive, we strive to be your source for daily trucking news, equipment, business, and regulatory information. But today we're here just for fun. We're going to run you through some of our favorite trucking movies. Sometimes, it's fun to be a little bit scared, right? For the most part, these films are more about suspense and psychology than blood and guts. While these movies may vary in tone, our favorite parts of all of them are the classic trucks. They're all best watched in the dark at a lonely rest stop, so pull over, kill the lights. Here are Overdrive's favorite scary trucking movies. Hit subscribe and let's get started. First up on our list is Duel, the story of David Mann, a traveling businessman who's in a rush to meet an important client. He draws the ire of a fuel hauler when he decides to pass the slow-moving 1960 Peterbilt 281 and his red 1970 Plymouth Valiant Signet. A dangerous game of chase ensues on the two-lane highways of Southern California. Produced by Universal Television and directed by the legendary filmmaker Steven Spielberg in his feature film debut, Duel originally aired as an ABC Movie of the Week back in the heyday of made-for-TV movies. After some additional shooting and re-edits, the movie eventually made its way to the big screen for an international release. Duel was shot in the days of the steel body and chassis. So don't expect to see any fiberglass cars drifting the hills of canyon country in this white-knuckled thriller stars Dennis Weaver. Fans of TV westerns may remember Weaver for his numerous roles playing cowboys in series such as Gunsmoke and McCloud. If you want to see more about one of the Peterbilts that played the antagonist, check out the video that passed American Trucker TV series host Rob Mariani and small fleet owner Brad White put together to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Duel. You can find the link to that video in the description below. Duel provided a solid start to Spielberg's career, and his cinematic skills shine bright with sharp camera work and masterful suspense. It's easy to see why this wasn't his last movie. The same can't be said for the director of the next movie on our list, Maximum Overdrive. Directed by Stephen King and based on his short story called, simply, Trucks, Maximum Overdrive was King's one and only time in the director's chair. The production was plagued with problems, including a cinematographer losing an eye to a mishap with the lawnmower. After filming Wrapped, King vowed to never return to directing, and so far, he's made good on that promise. Though he of course did go on to have a very successful career writing horror novels, with many movie adaptations made of his works. In Maximum Overdrive, a mysterious cosmic event causes machines to turn against humans and go on a killing spree. The story revolves around a group of people that become stranded at a truck stop after big rigs begin to attack and hold them hostage in the roadside diner. The movie stars Emilio Estevez as Bill Robinson, a short order cook on parole. After things turn deadly and the trucks begin making demands, Bill takes charge of the situation and comes up with a plan to get everyone out of there. Other cast members include Pat Hingle, Laura Harrington, and Yeardley Smith, who interestingly voices Lisa Simpson on the long-running animated series, The Simpsons. <laughs> Smith plays newlywed Connie. Along with her new husband, Kurt, Connie takes refuge at the truck stop after being chased down the highway by a Mac B-67 holding an empty flatbed. Naturally, the classic rigs are the main attraction of this truly bizarre story. The flick's full of vintage cab overs, medium duties, and a few OEMs that aren't even around anymore. The Happy Toys truck, also known as the Green Goblin, is the most memorable of the bunch. It was played by a white western star 4800 hidden behind a Green Goblin mask modeled after the character from the Marvel Comics Spider-Man series. The red button tuck interior adds some subtle class to this rig against a solid black paint job and blacked out trailer wheels. And you just can't talk about Maximum Overdrive without bringing up the killer soundtrack, courtesy of ACDC, featuring hits such as You Shook Me All Night Long, Hell's Bells, and Who Made Who. If you're in the mood for something similar, check out the movie Trucks. It's based on the same source material as Maximum Overdrive, but this one is a made-for-TV movie that originally aired on the USA Network. Coming up third on our list is Joyride, a tale about a prank that goes too far. The story follows two brothers played by the late Paul Walker of Fast and Furious fame as Lewis and Steve Zahn as his rabble-rousing older brother Fuller. 
Lewis sets out on a road trip heading home from Berkeley, California to New Jersey with the plan to pick up Lily Sobieski as Venna in Boulder, Colorado. As Lewis sets out on his trip, he learns that Fuller has landed himself in jail for drunken disorderly conduct in Salt Lake City. Lewis detours to bail him out and the two brothers continue their road trip together. Along the way, older brother Fuller buys a CB radio at a roadside service station and has it installed in his brother's 1971 Chrysler Newport. It doesn't take long before he starts using it to get laughs off truckers. Things take a wrong turn then when the brothers draw the attention of a driver going by the CB handle Rusty Nail, voiced by Ted Levine, who horror fans will remember as Buffalo Bill in the psychological thriller South of the Lambs. After some goading from his older brother, Lewis disguises his voice and pretends to be a woman named Candy Cane. He sets up a romantic rendezvous at a cheap motel and gives the driver a fake room number. Left humiliated by the ruse, Rusty Nail goes on a murderous rampage and sets out for revenge by terrorizing the three travelers and everyone in his path with his vintage Peterbilt 359. The cast has several notable names that were popular at the time of the movie's release. Relatively unknown at that time, though, was J.J. Abrams, who produced and co-wrote Joyride. He would later go on to write, produce, and direct installments of the Star Trek and Star Wars movie franchises. It's safe to say that Abrams has cemented his legacy in Hollywood since his time working on Joyride. If you're interested in more of the sadistic tales of Rusty Nail, then check out Joyride 2 and 3. But be warned, these sequels are more about shock and gore than the original. If there's more trucks from the Joyride series that you want to see, then check out this antique Freightliner cab over that appeared in Joyride 3. You can find the link to this video in the comments below. The next two movies on our list of favorite scary trucking movies take place in Australia. The desolate terrain of the outback creates an eerie backdrop for these films. And the unfamiliar landscape and trucks create an extra level of intrigue for the American audience. First up is Road Games, a slow burn spine tingler about a dangerous game of cat and mouse between a truck driver and a serial killer on the isolated highways of southern Australia. Road Games stars Stacy Keach as an owner-operator running a reefer route in a Mercedes-Benz 2224 cab over. He becomes obsessed with a green van on his route, believing that the driver is up to something sinister as bodies begin to pile up along the highway. Legendary scream queen Jamie Lee Curtis co-stars as a hitchhiker along for the ride. Curtis was already well on the path to becoming a horror icon. By 1981, she had already played Laurie Strode in the first Halloween movie, a role she would reprise several more times over the next 40 plus years. I'm not trying to lay a trip on you, but we got to pull over for the night. Why? Regulations. Wrapping up our list is a story that could easily be adapted into an episode of The Twilight Zone, Roadkill, released as Road Train in Australia. It's about four friends on a road trip across the Australian outback who find themselves being tormented by a driverless road train. The term road train is used in Australia to describe a tractor trailer that pulls double or triple or more trailers. There aren't many railroads in the remote parts of Australia, so road trains are the preferred mode of transportation for large volumes of freight. The movie stars a 1989 Freightliner FLC with a sweet button tuck and a penchant for murder. Adorned with a hood ornament shaped like Cerberus, the three-headed dog that guards the gates to the underworld in Greek mythology, it's clear that anyone who encounters this truck is in the fast lane straight to Hades. Some might consider this a horror movie about alternative fuel, but you really have to watch the movie to get what we mean. What are some of your favorite movies about or involving trucking? Let us know in the comments below. You can check out our website at overdriveonline.com and while you're there, Sign up for the newsletter for all the latest trucking industry news. Who knows? Maybe you'll get a tip on a good movie there, too. Over and out.